I, since we need more men speaking out against this rather than just being silent or ignoring the issue, um, I'm going to talk about women's rights. Um, the most fundamental right, being able to remove what you want from your body. Again, simply remove what you want from your body. But pro-birthers um, are resistant to this. They want big government to step in when convenient. Um, they are very politically correct. They claim they're not PC, but they're trying to, they actually ban the word fetus from the CDC, um, the Trump administration and Mike Pence, the religious zealot. Um, so they coined the term un unborn children or whatever they want to call it. They're not unborn children. It's an unformed fetus, unformed fetus, not unborn children. Um, the PC term that they're trying to coin and stigmatize this issue. Um, it's an unformed fetus. Most are done in the first few weeks. And then they pimp out their religion. Um, to be anti-birth control, which is so counterproductive to their cause, it makes no sense. It would be like a vegan being against mock meats. Um, um, birth, free birth control reduces abortion rates, and it saves taxpayers tons. I would think that they would want to give out birth control for free since it saves money in the end and pays dividends. But no, they're not a logical. logical. They pimp out their religion for their political gain. Because um, there's really not much in the Bible that states anything about um, birth control or um, or even abortion. God is for abortion, obviously. I'm not religious, but what's a miscarriage all about? Oh, God wanted to terminate them? <laughs> so answer that for yourself. Um, so we went over that they're p politically correct on this issue, of course, where it's convenient. They pimp out their religion where it's convenient, and they don't follow all the other rules. Um, they spread fake news. Um, Planned Parenthood is selling baby parts. It went from tissues, like a tissue, like cells, which is what they are actually doing, to baby parts. Uh, so they spread a lot of fake news. The Hyde Amendment, there's no government funding for it um, of 1978, the Hyde Amendment. Um, so um, there are a lot of stillborns that they'll use for medical research. Um, most are done in the first few weeks again. Um, that's why I call them unformed fetuses. Um, but if they're worried about selling body, baby parts, they're eat, why are they not worried about uh, baby bag ribs? They probably eat baby bag ribs and love them. <laughs> so I find that kind of ironic um, in their Chick-fil-A. So um, just, I'm just pointing up some hip, their hypocrisy. Um, so again, women can simply remove what they want from their body. End of story with me. Um, I do support human and animal rights. Again, I do support human and animal rights, to especially just be left alone. Um, I don't support human or animal fetuses. So you could say, oh, I care about animals more than people. Well, humans are actually animals. Our DNA is about 99% compared to several species. Um, we all feel pain and suffer the same, but, I, but not, fetuses do not. I don't care about human or animal fetuses, but I'm a big human and animal rights activist, actually. So um, fetuses don't matter to me, especially since most are terminated very early. Um, and I'm also concerned about human overpopulation. Um, look up podwaddle.com, P-O-O-D-W-A-D-D-L-E.com, and all the deforestation, overfishing, factory farming, um, pollution like China had. So there's a lot of encompassing issues. Um, which is why I'm for free birth control, actually, which they should support as well, which reduces the abortions and the uh, saves taxpayers tons of money. Um, again, Hyde Amendment. There is no federal funding for abortion, though. They spread that fake news, um, like the baby parts and tissues. Um, so um, also I want to bring up there's 450,000 children and teenagers in foster care. Why aren't they adopting them? That'd be like a vegan not adopting a dog and going to a breeder. Uh, please explain that to me. Um, 450,000 kids in foster care, not adopting them. They hate gays who also often do adopt them, pay welfare to all parents, whether it's um, through public schools. They call it socialized medicine. They don't want free health care, but they want socialized public schools. They want it's, They're just all over the place. I mean, both sides are hypocritical, but this issue... Conservative religious zealots nuts are overly hypocritical. 
Uh, many actually have terrorized and bombed abortion clinics and such, or women's clinics. Not even abortion clinics, just women's clinics in general. Imagine if any other cause did that. Imagine if a human rights did a health care cause um, targeted fat people or a world hunger cause um, targeted McDonald's getting, killing fat people. What if vegans killed animal eaters? What if um, women killed sexist men? What if um, gays killed Bible beaters? Like, okay, so every other cause, it's we know it's wrong to do that, but they will justify it. When there was a shooting at a Planned Parenthood, they were all justifying it. So, um, just wanted to speak up on these issues um, and call out their hypocrisy. Again, unformed fetus, we're not politically correct. Also done in the first trimester, very early. Miscarriage, God supports abortion. Um, they spread fake news and lies all the time. Um, women can simply remove what they want from their body. End of story. Thank you, and please share.